I can feel the sand at the moment cold under my back. There's some snoring going on. There's a big angry croc coming to get me. This is just Liam or Phil. It was Phil because it woke me up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <sighs> my um, indoor rated sleeping bag. It's not cutting it outdoors. <laughs> Fresh as a daisy, mate. I slept all oh, wow. No, I slept bad again. <laughs> Try to catch me howling at the Hold it there, hold it. We've only had this in overnight. We checked it last night, we got a few cherubin. We uh just pulled it out again now. There's a big dog in there. There's a big boy. They're like just a prawn, basically, and they're delicious. So I reckon we'll do five of them on the coals. Eat them. One each. What do we have for breakfast? Dehydrated meals. What That's... do we have for breakfast tomorrow? Jerky. <laughs> <laughs> For breakfast is a uh, campus pantry, oats with apple and cinnamon. Serve hot with a drizzle of honey. You got honey, right? Nope. Cherubin tasters, before we head off, are uh, ready to go. You pay a lot of money to get these in the restaurant. In one of those little Flandangle resta restaurants. Flandangle? And people in the city wouldn't know what a cherubin is. That'd be explained to them as a freshwater prawn. Kakadu plum and a bush tomato or something. Oh. I suspect. That's good. Cheers. Cool. Happy with that. Mm. Good on your shapes. <laughs> <laughs> we just converted our shapes into cherubin. Mm. That's what you gotta trade. keep upselling. Convert shapes to cherubin. Cherubin, cherubin barrel. Fish. So Mark's hot tip for the day. Hot Mark's hot tip. When you cut off your tag ends after you've tied your knots, make sure you're not cutting your main line. If that's up there with rigging up your rod and missing an eyelet, or rigging up your rod not and not knots. putting it under the bow arm. They sound like all things you've done. I've lot. done all of them. So um, all the sponsors on board, uh, it's worth mentioning that they're all brands that we use anyway. Uh, Norworld, made and manufactured in cans. Same with Survival, we've had their first aid kits for years. Mark and I, been builders or we own carpenters our whole life. Always use Makita. I've used angle fridges ever since I bought my first fridge. Um, Expedition boxes, Maca the owner, Cairns fella, and uh, manufactured in Australia. Coral Sea beer, another Cairns product, and Ripsaw jerky. So hopefully you guys go out and help support them so they can do the same for us going forward. Day two, let's float down the Wenlock. So first day, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it now. Um, awesome day, heaps of rapids, lifting the boats down, waterfalls, catching heaps of fish, just incredible. Um, today is going to be more of the same. We've got about 15 kilometres to cover in a tiny three metre tinny. Three bikes and not much gear. Stick around. Time for a toga party. Oh, there, there will be a toga party. <laughs> I'm currently the toga king, by the way. They call me Caesar. Hail Caesar. Beware the Ides of Mark. <laughs> Go for this follow. Lift him up. <laughs> oh, he's a winner. First cast. That is a ripper sooty, eh? 39. That is a big sooty. 41. <laughs> well done, Mark. Pretty happy about it. It's good. He's a wobber. 41? No. Yeah? He's under, under 41. You want me to judge? He did. Yeah, Steve, you should judge. 41 and a half. Ah, oh, fuck off. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get him in, eh? Whoa, oh, we're in trouble here. So we just ran aground there. Not not hard, just run the prop through a little bit of sand as we were trying to get through uh, one of the rapids. And um, then I noticed the motor wouldn't go backwards. 
So I think it's just got a little bit of sand in there. So a little prop tool, take the prop off and clean it out. <laughs> oh. I didn't even mean to do that. Yeah. That'll help. Yeah, it's better. Easy, easy fix. Good thing about these little electric motors, they're simple. But also, if they do fail, you're not fixing it really, are you? Yeah. You get your phone wet, dry it out, turn it back on, off and it works. True. We'd like to make an announcement. It's been a momentous occasion. Stevie. Yeah, man. Oh, a little barrel. Oh, barrel. But, um, still a good fish. I'm happy with that. Ticks another one off the list for the trip. See you, buddy. Is that a motor up? Just like that, curse done. Shrimp boat captain. Cherubin boat captain. <laughs> Fried shrimp, broiled shrimp, barbecue shrimp, cocktail shrimp, shrimp patties, shrimp, uh, shrimp tapa. Cute little Wenlock barrel. He's done a mischief on me, but you know. Going up a rock. Worth it. Yeah, good. So I was landing the fish, and then I wasn't landing the fish all of a sudden, and he fell off. He hit the gunnel, and I sort of tried to kick him in, and he's got me with his uh, spike on his top there, top fin. His, his gill rake or the top spike? Nah, top spike. Yeah, wow, that looks painful. Right there where the skin's kind of peeled back. I'd say that's because that spike went in my leg. <laughs> We're going to have to amputate. Yep. Oh. See you, dude. Good. Have a go at the bottom of the boat. There's blood everywhere and it's it's mine, it's not a fish's. I'll just go to the cleaning wipe and I'll just put a dressing on it. Yep. Tell you what, I've been getting into this kit more than I wanted. Good to have, but you don't want to use it. You're really just trying to work some of that in there. Bax has got a little survival wallet that he's been carrying on his um, backpack there. We didn't have any of the... Uh, big bandages in that kit left. So, um, yeah, well, it's good to carry that little one and easy to get to as well. Cheers, mate. Right. That's perfect size. Sorry. And, um, there. Another double hookup. Can you measure, mate? Big one. Got a couple. Five school in an 83. They're fat, aren't they? They fight pretty good. Good fun. Ah, oh, good fun. There you go. See you, mate. Oh, my lure! That's important. Backs up forwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get it. Thank you. Oh, if it doesn't get eaten first. That's the problem. And that could kill a fish. I can grab it, man. Backs, they're coming your way. Where? Thank you. Needed that squeegee. He's been um, he's been doing really well for me. And I brought two of them because I thought I might lose one, but then the Phil he lost the other one. So that's all I've got left. If you guys don't know, we can put in a little snippet of it. We'll blur his face so he doesn't scare you. Phil caught his first to toga yesterday afternoon. We put him on the spot. We taught him how to cast, how to put a lure on. He did pretty well. So a little Chinese man. <laughs> I tied up fucking Stevie's rig today. So that's why he's catching so many fish, because I rigged up his line. Let's not, let's not forget that, mate. <laughs> you can imagine in wet season, that's how high the water is in these creeks. on
Thunder. Oh, check out that cow up there, dead. Oh, oh yeah, dead. Oh, he stinks terribly. Jerky, anyone? Well, thank you. Here's your original one. And here. best. Mm. Got him too. He's a healthy size one too. Stop eeling around, buddy. Cool, prehistoric looking fish. Awesome. I, I live yeah. my life in Stevie's shadow. Right there. That was on the little list for the trip. Nice sooty, toga, and a barrow. So I've ticked it off. Now, some other species would be nice. I mean, archer fish. I was thinking you've ticked them off, we should just uh, snap your rod. That's all right, Baxter. One day you'll be as good as me. <laughs> when Baxter fishes and drives, he just gets nothing in the right spot. Sorry, Baxter. That's fine, just keep driving. Truth hurts. <laughs> oh, okay. So we just saw a little crocodile slide in off the bank up here. Only, um, only about a metre long, we think. He was just here somewhere. Right there. Yeah. Just there. Really hard to see, but that's just his little slide just down in here. Just to the right hand side of those sticks there. Oh, you can see he's got a couple of little slides in there. So he's come down there a few times. They're everywhere. I'm just looking at memory maps here. Mm. You want the good news or the bad news first? Mate, bad news. Start with bad news. Hit us. Bad news. We haven't got much beer. <laughs> That's bad. That's <laughs> bad. Good news. Closer to beer o'clock. <laughs> hey! That's good. That's good. <laughs> the beer is also best. No, we're, um, <laughs> we're only 1.6 k's from that, that big dog leg bend we were looking at yesterday, Argo. Oh, yeah. So that was about 8 k's from camp last night. And we're sort of saying that's, that's the halfway point too, approximately. Well, what's our speed just by the water? Just drifting right now, 0.9 kilometers per hour. 1.25. 1.3. 1.4. Yeah, about that 1.3 k's an hour with the water. Yep. Stopping for lunch. Lunch stop. One good thing about all these spots is so much firewood. Yeah. We're just getting a real quick fire started here. Bax is gonna not give me his lighter. Hey back to you, lighter there, mate. And then uh, we're gonna boil some water real quick, and we've just got some dehydrated meals for lunch. And we haven't, well, like, we caught plenty of fish, we just didn't think to keep any for lunch. So we had to, we don't have one. <laughs> also, don't have a lighter. Got a flint here. Lighter didn't work, so we're just going to get the flint out. Oh, I just spilled them all. There you go. Happy days. Oh, well, we got there. We brought the toilet paper. Won't go out now. Plenty of firewood around. Everyone gets their cup of gruel. It's pretty tasty. It's yeah. good gruel, eh? Yeah. I'm looking forward to the spaghetti gruel on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Mm. I've gone through the lamb. The different layers of gruel. And you'd lose some weight if you did this for like a month, eh? Oh, yeah. Scurvy for sure, eh? F45 if you're watching. Phil, Phil we don't want your help. True North for a juice meal plan. Diet. Right up. I We've caught so it. many fish that we're going to have to just miss fishing opportunities hmm. from here on in. Make a bit of distance. Just, uh, you can't have the driver fishing. That's right. Driver's out yeah. and we rotate. Back, so you can't fish. You can't <laughs> fish for the rest of the way. <clears throat> You're driving. Yep, 
So we need to get a couple of hours in the Salvo to sort of make sure where, where we want to be tomorrow. Um, we reckon that's about uh, two hours of going on number one speed on the motors. Driver's not allowed to fish. And uh, yeah, we just make up a good time. So I've come about two minutes from where we had lunch out. I can still see the beach in the background. And uh, we look around the corner and we've got a big set of rapids to go down. So, so much for that making up good time this afternoon, but we'll see how we go. That wasn't too bad. That, that it was, was uh, pretty, pretty tight. Good, really. Yeah. A bit um, shallow, but just with all of us out of there, it just floated okay and pushed it down. And uh, it doesn't look like there's a big waterfall at the bottom just yet, so. Hopefully, that might be it for the afternoon. He's unreal, that's cool. Really, Baxter? I am. Oh, I'm on too. Oh no, I'm on you. Oh, look, we both caught him. Alright, you want to hold him or do you want me to just peg him? Oh, you can hold him, mate. We both caught him, it was team effort. It was my hook in him, though. <laughs> that's acceptable. <laughs> Quick lure change. I've gone for a slightly heavier jig head. We found a lot of deeper holes, so it'd be good to get it down a bit more. Um, so here we go. My lure selection is quite random. You don't choose the lure. The lure chooses it's you. Lure. Yeah. No, I've just got a box of plastics and I just chop and change between them. If one's working, I'll leave it there. You actually hit me. <laughs> Toga! Yeah. He's a cute little one, but you know, still Toga. Happy days. Yeah. I just noticed up on the bank here behind us a croc slide. You can see he's um let's say he's probably walked up. And then you can see where he's slid back down on the left hand side there. So not a huge crocodile, but I don't know how big they are, I don't want to meet him. What the fuck was that? I don't have a croc at all. Really? Were we just looking on the wrong bank and there was a croc right there? It didn't very big. It was a big bow wave. Phil does know his sound. We were just looking on one bank there and then um, behind us heard a sound and um, saw a bow wave sort of going into the water so we think there was a croc sitting on the other bank and we were just all looking the wrong way. Um, we did want to point out like we're in the Wenlock River. We're in Cape York, any river here. There's gonna be crocodiles. We're jumping in and out all day on the river. But we're only getting in when we have to. Oh, so, sorry, the cameraman's fucked up here. But the thing is, we're only getting in when we have to. We're not getting in really because we want to. We have to, the boat is touching the ground or we come up to a log jam or we gotta pull the boat over a log. We know there's crocs in this river. There's probably a croc on this stretch looking at us right now. The key is, we're thinking about it. We're getting in, it's clear water, lots of shallow sand where we are. And before we go just over that lip there, where the boat's gonna float again, we're gonna be back in the, in the boat. We're not gonna take that extra two or three steps. We're just gonna get in the boat and push off over it. You might not think uh, we're being all that responsible sometimes, but you know, we're looking yeah. around. We're looking around. The I'm camera doesn't always catch you it, you know, but think I'm we're in. Smart man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sitting in the boat right here now. I'm not standing on that corner of the boat. Yeah, no way. And there's a reason I'm not standing there with my back to the water. Because there could be a crocodile in there. Yeah, you'll see us in and out of the water all day, laughing, smiles on our face, getting through obstacles. This is by no means an endorsement that you can get in or you should get in to any creek in Cape York without um, knowing the risks. 
those wrists are crocodiles. Yeah, and, and, and they're yeah. big crocodiles. Big crocodiles. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, couldn't, even I couldn't count how many fish I've caught today. Why, why would you even try to hurt your head? <laughs> it's time wasted when you could be fishing, right? Liam, Liam can do it back in the office. Ding, yeah. ding, 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 ding. Maybe even start a new ding, song. Ding, 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 ding. Chilling on the boat. Putting the boys on the fish, they've had a hard day, they haven't caught much. That's our dinner model. We had a go at it. No, no, no. I think we're missing out. We could have both. And a whole wrap. We've, we've only got Stevie's offering between five of us, two, two camera guys, three, three of us. Income. We've only got four beers well, left okay. and three no, wraps for dinner. They've chosen. That's their problem. That's their problem. <laughs> so Be we're trying to wrap, work out. Mark did some kind of ploy to offer people if they wanted a choice. But then once he got to the end and realised he got screwed and he got no beer, he then tried to change the rules. No, that's not true. And I, but that that'll take my decision decision away from decision. decision okay, away well, from let, me. let's just scrap it completely. We'll, we'll all have equal shares of wraps, and we'll get our cups, and we'll have equal shares of beer. We are all comrades. Oh. We're cruising around this bend. It looks like there's a really nice high sandy bank here, so that might be camp for the night. Fellum, you've got to get in here. Fellum, 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 get in here. Fill <laughs> here he goes. Look at his face. Look at his push, push. Here we go. Oh, Fellum. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it's done, boy. Here we go. Penthouse. So this is our Wenlock penthouse. Boats down the bottom here. We're up the top. Good view of the creek down the bottom. Heaps of firewood. Nice flat spot to set up camp. Doesn't get much better. Well, we could have a few more beers, that'd be better. <laughs> We've run out. <laughs> but other than that, it's a pretty good spot. Incredible life. So this is my mattress right here. Two's woolies, coals, cool bags, whatever you want to call them. Cut in half. Good, good. Like yeah. Roll the tent over the top of that. And then two poles. Easy. Moment of truth. Please, baby Jesus. Baby Muhammad. Baby, I'll take them all. If it breaks, you're gonna king hit you in the head. Feel, feel free to jiggle jiggle a little bit, but my money, my hammock don't jiggle jiggle. It falls. Let's swim, it's nearly dark. Yep. Oh! Woo. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Send the job up. <laughs> yeah, there was a safe word for this trip. <laughs> I'm ready to use it. <laughs> you guys fucking love it. Uh.